Hey guys, I want to share with you a word that the Lord gave me today as I was in my study and prayer time. Um, I think it's really powerful and it's really timely and I think it's going to encourage a lot of you. As I was studying earlier, the Lord led me to the book of Judges, specifically the story of Samson. Uh, many of you probably know the story of Samson and who he is. Some of you probably don't and so I'm just going to give you a quick overview. Um, Samson was born to lead uh, Israel. He was a leader of Israel at that time and he had incredible strength. He was the man of great strength. And nothing or no one could overpower his strength. When the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, there was nothing he couldn't do. He would tear apart lions with his bare hands. And so um, the, is, uh, the Philistines were his enemy at that time. And the uh, enemy, uh, the devil, the enemy, would place specific things in his path uh, to cause him to be distracted and to fall. Samson's specific downfall was women. And so the enemy would place women in his path to get him distracted so that he never rose up into who he fully was. That's so important. I want you to listen to this. The enemy will attack you according to who you can be, not just according to who you are. Are because the enemy is terrified of who you can be in God so he wants to prevent you at all costs from rising up into that identity Samson's downfall was women so by his third marriage his third wife was Delilah every single wife had tried to find out what is your secret strength Samson what is the secret to your strength no one could figure it out and finally at the end of the story we find out Delilah he gave his secret away to Delilah now that's key he gave it away to her. He gave her access to that secret. Now, what I want to tell you is this, is that his strength was in his hair, right? If you cut my hair, I will lose my strength. Nothing could lose his strength except if you cut his hair. So he gave her that secret. And my fear is that many of you, like Samson, are about to lose your strength. You have given the enemy access in your life. And so because of that access, because of that open door, you are about to lose your strength. And what I want to tell you is this, is that the enemy only has as much access to you as you give to him. Samson gave the enemy his secret. He gave him access. But they had to have permission. He had to allow that to happen. So I want you to listen to this. The way that we remove the enemy's access to our life is we have to shut the door to whatever area we've opened to him, okay? God is a God of restoration, and he is a God of healing, and he is a God of uh, power, and there's nothing that he can't overcome in your life. But you, just like you give the enemy access, you have to give God access to your life. God will only take as much access as you give him because why? We have free will. So we have to go to the areas in our life that we've allowed the enemy to have access that is removing our strength. We have to shut those doors and leave them shut, throw the key away, leave it shut. And then we have to allow God access to our life. Listen, my fear is that many of you like Samson are about to lose your strength because you've given the enemy access. Shut the door and allow God to have access in your life. Allow God to be strong where you are weak. The word of God in that story says that when the spirit of the Lord came upon him, that is when he gained all of his strength, when the spirit of the Lord came upon him. So listen, you got to shut that door and you got to allow the spirit of the Lord to come upon you. The word of God says that when you open the door, he will come in. Listen, God can have as much access as you give to him. So shut the door to sin in your life. Shut the door to every area that is causing you to be weak and allow the Lord to infiltrate those things. Allow the Lord to overwhelm every area because where we are weak, he is strong. The flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. Listen, we need the Spirit of the Lord. We need God's strength. We can't do it without God. And remember, the enemy only has as much access as you give him. So cut off that access to the enemy and allow God to be the strength in your life, okay? I love you guys so, so, so much. I pray this encourages you. I know that I needed it too, okay? I love you guys. I'm always praying for you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.